morning everyone and welcome to day one of pulling in your reality creating the life you desire living the loving wonderful joyful yay <laughs> that you know is possible um my name is michelle edhouse and today uh we will be using the tools of access consciousness well today and for the next 20 days afterwards um and I am a certified access consciousness facilitator and um, so if you are new to access and would like more information please ping me I can definitely give you that point you in directions of info and cover more stuff within the call series to give you more clarity and ease um, so my target with this this series is really for you to get the energetic awareness of what you actually desire it's not about making a um, you know a board with pictures on it that one day you will have you know the mansion and the color car and the, all that stuff it's about getting the energy of what living that life will be like um, so if you get a sense of driving the car that you absolutely would love to be driving now take away the color the brand the style the interior just get a sense of maybe it's a sense of luxury of comfort of safety of speed exhilaration of nurturing like for everyone it's going to be different so as I take you through these um, these calls, we're going to be looking at all the different areas of life and living. And if you have any suggestions of areas you'd like to be covering, please, please, please let me know. Um, and it really is about getting that sense of the energy. And then what we can do, when, when you can say to the universe, this energy is what I desire. It can show up in the weirdest of places. Um, you know, I, I, I know lots of women who have asked for a kind, caring, nurturing man that adores them, and it shows up in the form of a dog or of a gay friend. Or, you know, <laughs> so by being aware of the whole energies of what you're after you can ask and receive and so also during the series we'll be clearing out stuff about um, you know what limits you all your points of view that keep you from actually allowing yourself to receive that so again if you have any topics that you would like me to cover during the series any areas that you feel like I really really know what I'm desire here and it just doesn't show up because of something please can you help that's all what we can look at throughout the series so um it is very much a sit back perceive know be and receive what this what is contributed and if you have any questions please ask them in the facebook group and um i can address them on the next call so how does it get better than this and what else is possible uh the um yeah I'm, I'm gonna start the first energy pool now in the future i just get straight into the energy pool at, and it's usually 15 to 20 minutes maximum so you can pop that on to play the recordings are available both in the facebook group via a youtube video and also in the uh, mp3 downloads folder which are all linked on the page that you will have got a link to when you registered and paid so how does it get better than this let's get creating and see what magic can show up beyond what we thought was possible so if you are in a space where you can close your eyes and you choose to Please go ahead and close your eyes and take a deep breath in, allowing you and your body 
to relax. Allowing you and your body to receive each other. Be with every molecule of your body. Expand into every nook and cranny. Allow yourself to receive all the information that your body is gifting you. And what if you didn't have to make any of it significant? Just receive it. Receiving is like a stream just flowing through. And it's only your points of view that stop those awarenesses and hold on to them. They're like magnets that attract the points of view that match or conflict against. So what if we had no points of view about our body? Everything that doesn't allow that or you destroy and uncreate it. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, buck, all nine boys, shorts and beyonds. And would you be willing just to be with every molecule, every cell? No matter what that cell does, shouldn't do, does do, just be with it. And be you. Expand into every cell, every molecule of your body. All at the same time. And keep expanding, keep expanding, keep expanding throughout the entirety of the room that you're in. And guess what? Your body is in that room, so you're still in your body as well. Be with every molecule in the room. Every piece of furniture, every dob of paint, every ant or speck of dust. Keep expanding, keep expanding, keep expanding throughout the entire building. Through the entire town. Expand in all directions, out your back, out your front, out, down through the earth, up into the sky, sideways, in a spherical expansion. Keep expanding, keep expanding, keep expanding. Expanding through the entire country. Notice any barriers you have, any points of view that come up to anything that you come in contact with. Keep expanding. Expanding to include more and more and more and more. Not just walking past it, but expanding to include it. Include it in part of you, the infinite being. Push down those barriers and keep expanding. Expand your allowance and keep expanding you. Expanding you throughout the entire planet. Right the way through the center, all the molten lava, the gems and gold and silver and platinum deposits throughout the earth. Keep expanding, keep expanding, keep expanding. Expanding through all the businesses, all the people, all the money, including all of it. And any judgments that show up, will you destroy and uncreate all those, please? Right around good bad pop up, all nine boys shorts and beyonds. And keep expanding throughout the universe. Notice how you're still including your body and the entire planet, as well as the whole universe, all at the same time. Keep expanding, keep expanding, keep expanding throughout the entire, all universes, all space between the universes. And now start expanding through time, forwards and backwards through all possible timelines, days, weeks, months, years, decades, centuries, millennia, trillions of years, keep expanding throughout all time, all dimensions, all realms, all everything that's ever existed and ever will exist, expand out as big as you, the infinite being, including everyone and everything. As you be this big, 
as you be you. Are you willing to acknowledge the gift you are in the world, in the infinite verse? What else is possible? How does it get any better than this? What grand and glorious adventures can you have today? What is it you actually desire to be living? What have you decided you can't have, be, do, create, generate, or live? Everything that is, and all those points of view, and everything underneath them where you destroy and uncreate all that, please. Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pop, all nine boy shorts and beyonds. Get a sense of the life and living. Get a sense of the energy that you desire to be. As you get a sense of this, get a sense of what it is you actually desire to be. Let's not include the not this and not that. Just what do you actually desire? Get a sense of the living you desire to be having with your body. What is that like? Is it joyful movement? Flexibility? Ease in all your muscles and ligaments and joints? Is it all the molecules playing and dancing together with ease and joy and glory? Is it asking and receiving the change you desire? Is it perceiving the possibilities? And having choice? Is it the allowance? Vulnerability. Trust. Honor. And gratitude. Get a sense of living with your body the way you desire to live with it. Experiencing it. Experiencing the world around you through it. And everything you've locked into your body that no longer requires to be locked in. Will you now Destroy and uncreate everything that locks it in and release it to the earth with ease, joy and glory. Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pock, all nine boys, shorts and beyonds. What have you made so vital, valuable and real? about limiting your body that keeps you and your body 
having the communion you know is possible. Everything that is, Tom's a godzillion, we destroy and uncreate it all, please. Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pop, all nine boys, shorts and beyonds. So get a sense of the reality you desire to be with business and money. Now you're in the business of living. And most of you have an income stream from somewhere which is generated by a business. So what energy, space, consciousness and choice do you desire to be with those businesses, with those money flows, the in and the out of money, the having of money? Get a sense of those businesses that contribute to you, that you contribute to. Get a sense of all of them, even the ones you hadn't realized you received from, even the ones you didn't realize you contributed to. Get a sense of all of them. Get a sense of how you desire to be with all of them. Is it space, ease, joy, glory? What energy, space, consciousness and choice do you can you and your body be to be? you with business, to have the ease, the joy and the glory you desire with business. What would that be like? Get a sense of that. Get a sense of having ease and joy and glory with money, with money coming in, with money going out. Of having money, opening up your bank account and there just being money there. How does it get better than that? Everything that doesn't allow all of that, will you destroy and uncreate it all, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, bock, all nine boys, shorts and beyonds. Get a sense of the life and living you desire with others. Maybe you have or desire to have a lover in your life, an insignificant, significant other. Maybe you desire multiples of those. If you've made that wrong, where you destroy and uncreate it, right, wrong, good, bad, pod, buck, all nine boys, shorts and beyonds. How many times have you made something wrong and then decided that you actually desire it but can't have it? Everything that is times a godzillion we destroy and uncreate it, please. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nine boys, shorts and beyonds. What if you could choose and be Everything you desire. What if you could have gratitude for you, trust of you, allowance of you, vulnerability of you? And honor you. that be like? What would it be like to have that with others? Maybe with your lover, 
your living partner, maybe with business partners, maybe with family, parents, children, aunts, uncles, maybe with your friends. What would that be like to have trust, honour, allowance, gratitude and vulnerability with you and others? and your body, and business, and money. What would you like as you're living? When you wake up in the morning, what energy do you desire to be? Oh, do I have to wake up? Or, oh, how much fun can I have today? What grand and glorious adventures can I choose? When the car breaks down, what energy do you desire to be? Huh, okay. What else is possible? How's it get better than this? What else is possible, my friend, that you haven't even been willing to ask for? How much more ease and joy and glory can you choose? what else is possible so as you get a sense of all of that energy is it time to ask for that now pull energy through all the beings the bodies and the molecules throughout the infinite verse that can contribute to the actualization of this are actually showing up as your reality. Pull energy from behind them, through them, filling them up, gifting to them, contributing to them, and through you. Pull more and more and more and more and more and more and bigger and wider and thicker and more and more and more and more until you sense a connection. Notice how it actually isn't a doing, it's an asking for the energies to flow and it's ease. Pull more and more and more and then allow little trickles to go back to them. Still pulling and trickling back to them. And what if those trickles were inviting them, guiding them, tucking them to contribute? And what if you didn't even need to know who they were, what they're doing, how they're going to contribute. But you just ask the energy to pull and trickle and pull and trickle and ask those energy flows to equalize once they've contributed. And as you open your eyes and go about your day, what grand and glorious adventures can you choose today? What magic can you be? All right, I adore you. Thank you so much for coming to play. And I'm looking forward to having you join me for the next 20 days. Yay! How does it get better than this? (laughs) I adore you. Have fun. Bye-bye.